Good evening. Welcome to 15 News at 10, live on air and streaming on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV. I'm Maria Lizagnoli. And I'm Mark McPherson. When tornadoes ripped through our area last week, emergency alerts were an important part of keeping people safe. But how do they really work? WMTV's Cameron Kelly spent the afternoon with the National Weather Service. Cameron, what'd you learn? Mark Maria, it's a process to get inf information out to the public, and there are multiple people involved to get those alerts directly to your phone. You can just adjust that to make sure that you're really capturing the true hazard and, and everybody that might be impacted. The National Weather Service draws out polygons, which are the warnings they issue. With the help of cell phone providers, people receive information at their fingertips. And every single cell tower that's within that warning, people that are using one of those are going to get that wireless emergency alert sent to their phone. Back in Evansville, city leaders say it's important to obey these alerts. And I think a lot of times uh, folks uh, tend to uh, not take them seriously all the time. And uh, I think this was definitely a wake-up call and a little bit of respect for Mother Nature and what can happen and how those alerts uh, should be heeded and uh, paid attention to. The mayor says residents are forward-thinking and making adjustments after the destruction. Since the storm, people have been looking to see if they can get a better cell service you know, something that's going to be available a little bit more. Mine was available most of the time, which was good. Whether you receive a message to your phone or hear sirens, take cover. Tornadoes can be very dangerous, and one of the main reasons why uh, they can tragically take lives is because of flying debris. Um, and your exposure, so to speak, to those sorts of hazards is maximized if you're not seeking shelter. The National Weather Service also surveyed the damage throughout Evansville and Albany last week. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, WMTV 15 News.